Welcome to LFG Command Systems. This video will provide an overview of how our system works and manages an emergency event. We'll look at each area of the command board, starting with Fire Attack Type. The options listed here are None, Offensive, Defensive, and Property Conservation, or Salvage and Overhaul. We know these vary from department to department and can be customized accordingly. The PAR slider is an audible and visual reminder designed to remind the commander to check on his crews. This can be adjusted according to how often the commander wishes to receive reminders, up to every 20 minutes. Or you may opt to pause the PAR button. Benchmarks. All of the critical benchmarks are listed here. Benchmarks are goals and objectives a department wishes to achieve on scene, from securing utilities to initial line down. Egress options tells you where the secondary means of egress has been established on an incident. You'll see that everything we've discussed here is being documented in the event log. At this time, Let's add some units. We'll select Truck 15, Engine 15, Squad 20, and press OK. You'll see that these units have been placed in staging, awaiting a task. Let's place Engine 15, Fire Attack, Interior, Division 1. You'll see the system reflects these changes. Notice also that a timer has been attached to the task. Let's continue to add tasks to units. We'll select Squad 20, RIT Team, Exterior, Side A. Let's give Truck 15 a task. We'll go to Truck 15, Fire Attack, Interior, Division 2. The system reflects that Truck 15 is on the second floor. The program gives you a visual orientation of the location of units. For example, Truck 15 is shown above Engine 15. Again, this is reflected in the event log. Another great feature of the program is our sketch pad, where a scene can be drawn out. You can add icons to represent locations of units, and so forth. For accountability, we have the Active Manpower Report. The Active Manpower Report provides you a quick overview of units and personnel on scene. Changing a unit's task is easy. Let's place Engine 15 in Rehab. We'll go to Send to Recovery, Engine 15, and press OK. The timer starts over to reflect how long the unit has been in rehab. Now let's place Squad 20 inside the structure. Let's go to Squad 20 Fire Attack, Interior, Division 1. This will display two timers. The timer on the right shows the total time Squad 20 has been active in the incident. The timer on the left shows the current task. The data snapshot is a record that this command board has stored. The system records the day and time of the incident and allows you to pull up the history of an event. Up to 100 events can be stored. These can be saved and or printed for your debriefing. Thank you for watching our video demonstration of the LFG Command Board.